God was not speaking of this. God was speaking about me himself. He said, I'm the, I'm the God, the Lord God of Abraham, your father, the God of Isaac. Your seed shall be like this. Behold, I am, I am with you. I will keep you in all the places where you are going. And I will bring you again into this land for I will not leave you until... Oh. And our brother, at the end he said, we will call the name of this place better. But the name of that city was called Luz at the first. Jacob vowed a vow saying, look at what he said. If God will be with me. What did God say? I am with you. <laughs> you see the way God it. It's very interesting. Behold, I am with you. And I will keep you in all the places where you are going. And I will not leave you. Until I have done which I have spoken to you of when he was going to respond. If the Lord will be with me. Look at his response because you might think that was a great response. But that's a response that prolonged his own years of struggling. Look at what he said. He said, if the Lord God will be with me. And we keep me in this way that I go. I wish he had done like Paul. Who said, Lord, what will you have me do? If you keep me in this way that I go. And will give me bread to eat. And raiment to put on. So that I come again to my father's house in peace. Then. Did you notice the word then? What's the meaning of then? After all this, if it takes 20 years, then. If it takes 10 years, then. If it takes 21 years, then. Then, then, not now. Not now. Then, with the Lord. Be what? Then you will be my God. And this stone which I have set for a pillar shall, shall be God's house. And of all that you shall give me, I will surely I'll give you 10% of it. If you don't give me anything, you miss your 10%. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to give you myself. If you give me something, then I will give you 10% of it. If you don't give me something, that's your business. And with that, something that could have on this journey was put aside. I would say postponed. It was postponed. So it went. So it went. Oh, and it went. Between this chapter and chapter 31, 32, when he was coming back, it was 20 solid years. 20. 20 good years. The way the Bible started chapter 29 was fearful to me. Then Jacob went on his journey. No reference to this. He went as if nothing happened. He continued his journey as if nothing took place. And he went on his journey. Please, because there's no space, if you take time to study, you will notice that from that chapter 29, I was expecting 
that there will be prayer. There was no prayer. Whereas when the son of uh, Eli, I mean um, Abraham was going to pick his own mother from that place. If you go back to Genesis 24, you will see uncountable number of times that that man was praying. Every step he prayed. Every step he prayed. Lord, if, if you have shown mercy to my master Abraham and you are here to pick a right woman for my master's son, the woman that will come first, that I will say, do this, do this, do this, do this. Lord, be it the woman you have chosen. When it happened, he did not jump at it. He went and fell down and said, oh Lord, ah, thank you. I hope this is the one. When he got to the house and he told the story, he knelt and again, every step of the way he was praying. Brother Jacob, no prayer. He saw this girl, finished. He was crying. The Bible said he kissed her. He got to the house and said, so what do you want? He said, well, I'm going to serve you for seven years. I don't know where he has ever seen anybody from his family who spent seven years to marry a woman. I don't know where he saw that. The sec when the seven years came through, they brought Leah. I would, you can't tell me that you didn't know that it was Leah. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you. <laughs> I knew that he knew. <laughs> because he had been in that house for seven years. How will you be in coaching with a woman for seven years? Even if they switch off lights. <laughs> And you will say, I don't know. So there was no discussion. There was, he didn't greet the woman. He didn't say good afternoon or good evening. No, no. It was something else. Jacob was being clever for something. He was say, okay, okay. I know it's there. I will do it. Tomorrow, I will tell them, why did you do this? Why did you do this? You caused confusion. No, I need to bring my wife. Meanwhile, she, he has violated the woman. Said, did you sleep with her? He said, why not? I'm not a stone. 